Tima Kato Kato. Today I'm going to be interviewing Autumn and she's going to be talking about Apidana and Atta. Autumn, tell us a bit about Apidana and what makes him special. I think something that makes Apirana special is how he wants to stand up for Māori rights and Māori health. He also helps to work and strengthen Māori culture. What is something you didn't know about Apirana before you started your research? I actually didn't know anything about Apirana. The only thing I noticed is that his face is on the $50 note of New Zealand. Some people listening to us today won't have even heard of Apirana. What are three things that he's done that you think are worth knowing about? Firstly, I think people should know more about his achievements. Apirana firstly got his law degree in 1897. Apirana also became the first Māori graduate of New Zealand, New Zealand University, followed by his efforts to improve educational opportunities for Māori. And his iwi. Who does Apirana whakapapa to and how important is his iwi to his work and his personal life? Apirana's iwi is Ngāti Puro. His iwi was very important to him because he travelled around his sub-tribes and tribe to talk about how to improve their health and education. He used his knowledge of the Pākehā as well as his skills to help his people and to farm their land while also helping them to maintain their culture and protect their identity. What is the saddest or funniest thing you've learned about him in your research? In my research, it doesn't really say any funny or sad things, but I would think that he had to go through a lot of criticism and hard work to become a lawyer and politician, especially because he was Māori, and I also think it would have been like quite hard for him to stand up for Māori rights. Tell me a bit about his childhood. Apirana was born at Te Araroa on the East Coast on July the 3rd, 1874. Apirana was sent to his local college where he studied. He also attended Auckland University as well as the University of Canterbury. What has he done that links to something important to you? One of my tribes are Ngāti Puro, so I feel it kind of links to me. But I think what he has done for Māori in general has made an impact on how our schooling is nowadays. It was really important to me how he stood up for Māori education, health and rights. Thank you for that, Orna. It's my pleasure.